Hey, fifth graders, uh, Miss O here. Today, your lesson is all about how humans impact weathering, erosion, and deposition. So there are ways that humans can speed it up or cause erosion to happen, and then there are ways that humans actually slow it down or ways that we prevent erosion from happening. Um, Max with me here in the background. Um, and so what I would like you to first do is to make this table that is right there for you in your notebook. Human causes on one side, and you can put a, even a little plus there. Um, and then how humans prevent erosion, you can put a little minus. So how do we speed it up and how do we slow it down? And you can pause the video if you need. We're going to go ahead and move on. By now, though, before I get into kind of the lecture portion, please make sure that you've watched the two YouTube videos that I posted first. Um, there's one on kind of soil and water and how humans kind of interact with those elements for erosion to happen. And then as well as how we can kind of help prevent erosion from happening and how we can kind of save our soil. So watch those two first, then you should be watching this and we'll take notes here at the end. So some ways that humans cause erosion to happen. Um, so we actually increase erosion 10 times faster than it is naturally occurring. And one of the ways that we do this is by deforestation. And you guys actually have read about deforestation a little bit with Miss Mateka. So deforestation is the logging of the rainforest, the burning of the rainforest. So what this when this happens, um, this like digging up of the trees loosens the dirt. When that dirt is nice and loose, wind is able to blow that topsoil really easily. Um, and remember that topsoil is where all the nutrients are, where all the rich um, nutrients are for those trees to help grow. So when that topsoil gets blown away, that causes erosion. Another way that we cause erosion faster than it naturally happens is by overwatering our lawns. Watering our lawns or our gardens can also, again, loosen up the soil because when the water droplets hit, it actually kind of breaks up the soil. And so when we overwater our plants and our um, lawns, this is when that really happens. It's more easily swept away. So remember, erosion is the movement. So when we loosen up the soil by deforestation, by watering our lawns, sometimes that happens. Okay. Two other ways that erosion happens, sorry, I got to keep moving myself here, <laughs> um, is with farming. Okay. Farming is a really big one. So farming, when we plant seeds, we loosen up the topsoil in order to plant the seeds in. And so what's called this tilling of the land, it loosens up the dirt. Um, and then harvesting is kind of the same thing, right? We're digging up the plants, loosening up that dirt. And so it can break up that sediment and cause it to kind of be easily carried away either by wind or by water. So if there's a big windstorm that comes through, or there's a big rainstorm that comes through, um, farming is a huge source of erosion. Um, and here you can see kind of the, where they till up the dirt in the rows. Now, the last one I want to highlight is mining. Mining is literally just digging up the ground, um, carving away at rock, digging massive holes in the ground. Of course, this is loosening sediment, moving it to a different area. And we even are the movers sometimes. So see your, you see a little truck moving some dirt. Um, so sometimes it is us that's even moving it, not just loosening it, but actually pushing it somewhere else. So those are some ways that humans cause erosion or speed it up. So now humans can invent or prevent erosion, excuse me, um, a couple of different ways. So one of the ways we talked about with our like very first reading was by planting trees. So farmers can actually plant trees around their farm fields to help prevent the wind from coming in, right? Kind of acts, acts as a wind block. Um, but also these roots help hold the soil in its place. And so when these roots grow, they actually kind of hold on to the dirt. So it's not going anywhere. Um, another way is that we talked about um, with our earlier reading is the plowing perpendicular to the hillside. So remember we talked about Farmer John and Farmer Joe. Um, one kind of plowed his um, rows kind of parallel to the hillside. And so they acted like a water slide and whoosh, water just carries it all away. And the other one planted perpendicular to the hillside. So if the hill's going down like this, he planted like this. So it kind of acted like the bumpy slide at the park and it slows down the water. Um, so those are two of the ways. And one of the ways that two then that you probably saw in the video, hopefully if you watched it first, um, is to leave what we call cover crops. Um, so things like corn husks on the ground. So when we go to harvest corn, we don't need most of the plant. Only thing we want are the little corn stalks. There's only one or two corn stalks per big stock of corn. So we can leave the rest of the plant on the ground. 
And so this acts like a blanket, and that's why they call it cover crops, because um, then it can kind of leave the soil in its place. So what we're going to do now is we are going, oh, sorry, two more ways. Um, human prevention of erosion levees. This is something that we talked about um, just last week in class. And so humans can build levees to keep water um, to prevent it from flooding. Can also be um, like we can also build man-made windbreaks for fields. So here you can see kind of um, how humans have tried to prevent erosion along this bank, along this river bank by putting in kind of walls there. And then the opposite of overwatering is to reduce our watering, to use less water on our crops if possible, and to not water our lawns on rainy days. So now what we're going to do is we are going to um, fill in our chart. So I'm going to um, kind of pop back out of presentation mode so I can type in some of our answers here for human causes and human preventions. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're first going to talk about causes. So the ways that humans, you can also put it this way, speed up erosion. Okay, so one of the ways that humans speed up erosion is by mining. Remember, digging up the dirt. Farming. Deforestation. Overwatering our crops and our plants. Overwatering. Good. Construction is another big one. And then even us when we walk around, so walking trails or paths can cause erosion. Now, ways that humans can prevent erosion or slow it down. Let's make this bigger again too. Add some bullet points. Is we can help by planting trees. So that will act as a wind block on our crop fields as well as um, acting as the roots help holding the soil in place. We can leave cover crops. We can have less watering, kind of opposite of overwatering. Um, perpendicular plowing. So remember that's Farmer John and Farmer Joe on the hillside. Not making a water slide for our crops. Making a levee. And then having new farming techniques. There are now ways, as you guys saw in the videos, that can um, help Farmers not dig up quite so much dirt. So it's saying instead of digging this far into the dirt, we only have to dig this far and we still can get the same amount of crop yield. So um, having these new farming techniques and new ways to kind of mine and new ways to do these kinds of things can help kind of um, prevent erosion from happening as much as it used to. Um, so please make sure that you get these notes. Oh, always backwards. These notes in your notebook, um, it will probably be probably be helpful for you on an upcoming test. Hint, 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 wink, wink. Um, so please make sure that you get these in your notebook. Um, your test will be Thursday. It is open notebook. So please just make sure that you are ready for that. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Office hours are today, Monday at two o'clock. So I will hopefully see you then. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, study guide days tomorrow. Um, I'll talk more about that in the daily video. Thank you. Bye.